How's it going fellow Guardians? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I'm Chaos Prime and let's get this show on the road. Today I'm going to be covering the armor sets that's going to be coming in Season 5. I'm going to be announcing the winner of the annual pass giveaway as it has now ended. And I'm also going to be showing you a leaked trailer that has massive spoilers. But do not worry, before I get into this and start to analyze this and start to raise questions, I will be giving plenty of disclaimer before you watch it. With that said, let's first start with the annual pass giveaway. As you can see on screen right now, King of Captains is the successful winner. This was done fairly and through the system. I had no control over who was selected. I have sent the email out. You have 48 hours to get back to me. Please do get in touch. If you don't, I will have to re-roll the competition in order to get another winner and I will hopefully get a response then. But you have 48 hours, do get in touch and congratulations on winning the annual pass. So let's now move on to the armor sets. Season 5 brings 5 armor sets in total. We have the Raid armor set, we have the Eververse armor set, which you won't be seeing here on this little layout. You have the Iron Banner armor set, you have the Forge armor set, so unlike the Blind World which was a complete waste of time, the Forge does have its own armor set and weapon sets, so this is really cool and gives it instant replayability. You also have the Dawning set. With this, this makes five arm sets. In the upcoming video, as I do every season, I'm going to be finding all the images, labeling them, putting them in chronological order and letting you see them. What this here entails you to see is that in season five, there are a total of five armor sets coming for everyone to collect. Right, now we get to the meat of the video, the leaked trailer. This is massive spoilers, make no mistake. So I'm going to give you around 10 seconds while I waffle on to look elsewhere or stop watching if you don't want anything spoiled for you. I'm pretty sure most of you will have seen some of this stuff, but at this point if you do not want it spoiled, look away. I'm serious, this is your last warning, this is massive spoilers. Ok, play the trailer. Mind blown, right? Aldrin is back. But is he back? The ghost from the ghost stories lore, Paul Pork, finally finds its guardian. And of all the people it can find, it raises and revives Prince Aldrin. But from the look of his face, even he is surprised to be awake. So let's break this down. Currently on the forums, everyone's freaking out with the fact that Aldrin is still alive. But he was never a guardian to begin with. When we killed him, he was just an Awoken. As the lore goes, with the way Guardian Birth works, he should no longer be Aldrin. He may still be in Aldrin's skin, he pretty much is no longer the Aldrin we once knew. Of course, Anna Bray was looking through her past and trying to rediscover her past, so there is always a window that you can actually do this. Amanda Holiday, in the recent Cosmodrome mission, said that she's still waiting for her parents, so she still has some recollection of her past. But in the way the law states, Guardians are brand new born when they are brought back with the ghost. But congratulations to Pulled Pork, who finally found the Guardian he was looking for. So now it raises the question, why Aldrin? I mean, the Traveller works in mysterious ways. The Traveller tends to look for devoted people with strong character. If we look at how loyal Aldrin was to his sister, it's really a natural choice when you think about it. His devotion is clear. The speaker when speaking to Gaul said devotion, sacrifice and death. No one can dispute Aldrin was devoted to a people. 
a queen and a sister, everything he did was for her. Everything he sacrificed, his body, his mind, the faith his people had in him was all for her. And ultimately he paid the ultimate price, the ultimate sacrifice in death. So when you look at everything that, when you look at the rules the speaker specified alone, Aldrin met every category from the Traveller's requirements. Additionally, this is one twist no one saw coming. However, at the same time, everyone should have seen coming, but with Aldrin having been killed, it did put the Vanguard there to rest. But, now that he's back, will Prince Aldrin take the mantle of the Vanguard Hunter? I mean, the Hunter's there is pretty simple, and it's now complete. The Hunter's there states, that any hunter who kills the previous hunter becomes the hunter vanguard. This is pretty simple, and if that's the case, it looks like Aldrin may well truly be the hunter vanguard and the one to replace Cade. Now how this will go with Ikora or Zavala is going to be really interesting. I expect Zavala to play the good soldier and accept him in because he's no longer technically Aldrin. But Ikora is completely gonna be off her rocker. I mean, I can see her going straight for him in pure, vicious venom. So this is gonna be really interesting come Black Armory. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know if this leak was deliberate to get people interested or if this leak was an actual leak. But whatever way they did it, one thing I can tell you is that it's done well, it's played well, and I have to give credit where credit's due. I didn't see this coming, and Bungie did so good with this one. It's going to be interesting to see how Mara reacts, because as far as Mara's concerned, Aldrin is dead, and based on the way she reacted this week, she didn't even care, even though she was upset about it. But truth be told, when she finds out he's still alive, she's going to be pissed. What's going to piss her off even more is the fact that he won't even remember who she is. She already hates Guardians and the Traveller, and with the Traveller now having taken her brother away from her by bringing her brother back and flaunting it in front of her, oh boy Mara's going to be godly pissed. If that hasn't wet your appetite, I don't think anything will for the upcoming DLC. Like I said, in the next video, I'm going to be showcasing all the armor that's available in Season 5. I'm going to be covering the TWAB. And if the video is short enough, I'm also going to be covering the main points of the articles that were released. If it's too long, then I'm just going to break it into two videos because no one wants to sit here for half an hour listening to me drabble on. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this leaked reveal and slight overview of what is what and what might happen and if you have a like would be greatly appreciated and with that said pull pork you did it again and by golly is this gonna put a wrench in the works tower make way a new hunter vanguard has entered the fray remain legend people <laughs>